Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. The sunlight is kind of crazy right now. It's just kind of blazing at my face right now into my office. Uh, I might wait for it to get like, a little bit more even, but I'm about to start filming booktube videos. I I don't know if you can see back there, but there's my camera set up and it snowed last night, so there's lots of snow out there now, and lots of books right here at all be talked about and whatnot. But uh, uh, Giselle got back from work a little bit ago, and uh, a couple hours ago, and then after she got back, I took the car and went to the gym and showered and uh, got myself all ready to start filming some booktube videos. That is so freaking bright. Holy crap. It's been a pretty good day so far. I haven't got a lot, <laughs> haven't gotten a lot done, honestly, but uh, hopefully that'll start right now as I film these videos. I'm going to film, I think, three or four. We'll see how it goes. I'm just very glad that I took the day off and was able to stay home today and uh, just kind of relax a little bit. The shelf is empty now. The shelf where certain stuff used to be. Because I moved all our Alice stuff into here. So it's on top of our dresser and that's the tripod. And I just moved all the Alice stuff. I'm not sure if I like that book. I may take it out and just have the globes or whatever. But I made a whole big long Alice display because I was trying to cram all this stuff onto that itty bitty little shelf and it just was not working out. I ended up filming me doing this and it's gonna go on my main channel. It's already up by now so if you want to go see that you can. Me arranging it and figuring out how I wanted it but I do explain everything in there but basically the pink Cheshire Cat section. I don't know. I think I want to move this puzzle over here to kind of transition it more but the puzzle that Judith gave me and then our red section with like my red ears and it's like the red and gold section transitioning over into like the yellow and gold section and yeah and I also have like inspired books so like I have After Alice on there too I have another Alice in Wonderland retelling that's like green and I just don't think it will look good on here so I'm not doing that right now but we'll see in the future I also have more phone cases to put over here I only have two of them over there but I have at least one or two more Alice phone cases so anyway I'd worked today and it was a really wonderful shift like I just enjoyed it so much so in case you guys were wondering how that was going some days have been a little awkward and a little uncomfortable but today was a pretty fantastic day and then I was double checking with my manager just like to see if he knew exactly which days I'd be gone and I was like should I write it down somewhere and he's like no 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 it's fine just like just these days, right? And I was like, yeah, that day, and then this day too. And he's like, okay, yeah, that's perfect, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, okay. So I pretty much have the coolest boss ever who's just like, oh, yeah, take all those days right around Christmas. But I told him I'm willing to work New Year's and New Year's Eve. I don't care, either one. I've just been working on stuff since being home. Um, I'm currently listening to uh, A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. And um, I'm enjoying it. I started it a long time ago. Um, I got almost halfway through and now I'm about this far through, so over halfway. I think I'm like 60% of the way through. And I'm liking it, but it's very, very heavy. So I've been trying to pick up some lighter, more fluffy books or whatever, and I got two books in a row that I was just like, mm, not my favorite writing ever, so we'll see how the second one goes. Because the first one I DNF'd immediately. I was just like, this writing is horrendous. Um, I'm also listening to The Rook by, I think his name is Daniel O'Malley. Anyway, I think O'Malley or O'Mallory or something is the last name. I'm so great at this. Let me double check. It is Daniel O'Malley. I win at life. Anyway, um, I'm li also listening to The Rook and again, it's, I'm enjoying it and it's good, but it's just like, uh, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be fantasy, but it feels kind of sci-fi-ish to me, and it feels it feels almost like Torchwood from Doctor Who, which is totally fine, but it's not necessarily what I'm 100% in the mood for, but I do want to read it, so I'm working my way through those two, and I just wanted something lighter on the side. I'm also listening to Christmas with Anne and other holiday stories by Ellen Montgomery, and I'm not liking it, so I'm going to try to force myself to listen to an hour for the next few days till I finish it, because it's for my sister's book club it's not great and um, as my sister described it it's just a bunch of really short silly little Hallmark movies which are fine if you like that she's like but they're way too cutesy 
and yeah, there's not enough character development in them, and it's just like very like characters doing 180s or just very miraculous things happening, and I'm just like not down for that. Anyway, what I've been doing is um, I ended up actually dropping a candle on my foot and bruising my foot a little bit and hurting it. Um, it feels better now. It's been a couple hours, but it was... The bruise has actually mostly faded. It was right here, and you could really see it when it first happened, but I put olive oil on it, and it's mostly gone away. Um, you can still see it, like, it's a tiny bit, like, irritated and slightly purple. Which is a good trick, by the way, if you get hit and you know that you're gonna get a bruise, stick olive oil on, and the bruise will fade faster, heal faster, and possibly not happen at all, depending on, as, like, how fast you get the olive oil on. Like, one time, my sister, like, ran head first into the wall and actually broke a hole in our wall. And she was, like, about three at the time, and my aunt was over, and she just, like, get the olive oil, and she, like, put olive oil on her face, and she didn't get a bruise at all. I don't even think she got a bump, and she was, like, completely fine, and my mom has been using olive oil ever since on everything, and it's literally miraculous. So, anyway, good tip about olive oil. So I did that, and it actually feels a lot better, but I couldn't walk for, like, it was painful to, I could walk, but it was just painful to walk for, like, the first couple hours after it happened so I've been sitting on the bed and somehow I started making little stars out of paper I don't know how this happened I was just like thinking about the star jars and how I kind of wanted to do one you can't see it very well on that but here I'll dump them out and show you in my hand so it's all these little stars and like each color represents a different like book genre so like how I've been doing it is Green is historical romance or historical fiction for me. Blue is science fiction or fantasy. Um, pink are classics. And then the light orange are nonfiction, which I can't get it out of there. There you go. And then the dark orange I did as children's. And then finally the white I was doing as mysteries because I actually read a few mysteries this year. So those are like the six colors of papers that I have from this thing. And, yeah, I just started folding them, and all of a sudden I had a bunch, and I was thinking I kind of wanted, this is something that I wanted to next year, is make a star jar of all the books that I've read, and then have, like, a star for every one. So I've kind of been folding out the ones from this last year. I think I have a little over 30 done right now, and, <laughs> yeah, I means I have, I'm about a quarter of the way through done, almost, and... Yeah, it's just been fun and relaxing, but now my fingertips are actually starting to hurt because, yeah, all that. So, I will leave a post down below of showing you how to fold them because other people have done it a lot more eloquently than I have. One of the problems with this, though, is that other people tend to make their stars bigger than I am. I'm making them very small because I have very small paper, so I don't really have much of an option with that like a lot of people use like 11 inch paper and I only have six inch paper so it's half the size and so they're much smaller and I have to cut them thinner and stuff like that and so people fill up their star jars really fast and like it looks like super amazing and they get like three in every month and it fills up by the end of the year that's not how mine would work is like it would take the whole year to like make any progress in it because they're so tiny like, this is literally almost a quarter of the books that I read this year, and it, like, barely takes up this bottom layer, so. Anyway, it's something that I'm juggling, but I've enjoyed doing origami for years. It's nothing that I've, like, super made a hobby of, but I enjoyed doing it. I used to do it, like, with, with the programs when I was in church. I'd fold them up and make origami. I'm a super spiritual kid, I know. I enjoy doing origami, though, and just doing things with my hands. Like, I used to knit. I used to do, like, embroidery. I used to crochet. I do my whole, like, writing down how much of each book I want to listen to every day and blah, blah, blah. Like, all that is, like, busy work for my hands while I listen to or watch something and I've been doing it for as long as I can remember I used to even like listen to audiobooks while doing my math I can't do that anymore but like I zone out but but I've always enjoyed having that busy work with my hands and so that's kind of what this has been as I've just been listening to a book and taking time and chilling out 
and folding all these wonderful stars. So I'm doing it by author's last name and I've gotten through the D's so far. So I'm starting on E next. I don't think I'm going to do any more tonight. No, I think I'm just going to probably go to sleep because I'm feeling a little tired. I'll probably like maybe turn on like a YouTube video or something and just chill out for a bit. Possibly attempt to keep listening to the book and hope it gets better, but today has just not been my lucky day with audiobooks apparently. Anyway though, today is the 12th. I mean, it's almost the 13th. It's almost midnight, so today is almost the 13th, which means I have like 18 days left in the month. And I really, really wanted to finish nine books. I don't think that will happen, especially since the book that I DNF'd, I'm not even going to mark on Goodreads because I'm like, what a waste of space on my Goodreads. Like, it didn't even infuriate me. Like, a lot of times when I DNF books that fast, it's because I'm like, this character is the devil, I hate them, blah. It's not even that. It was just like the writing was so bad and the characters were so cringy, but it wasn't like enough to like upset me and so like I'm not even gonna mark it or write a scathing review or anything I'm just gonna let it be and not worry about it so anyway yeah so I'm hoping I can finish a book every other day from now on to the end of the month but we'll see how it goes I'd love to get to 150 books by the end of the year but if that doesn't happen I will be happy with my like 145 or whatever I get to um because right now I'm at 141 so anyway I think that's it for today though it's pretty late and Chris is she took a nap so he's gonna stay up all night <laughs> so he can just start the vlog tomorrow which means probably in a few hours when he has something to talk about so anyway I think that's it for today though mm -hmm. we'll see you tomorrow and thanks for watching